We are trying star fruit. This is something called the star fruit. Its professional official name is the carambola. And this is an exotic fruit that came from Southeast Asia. And over time, trees were brought elsewhere in the world. And these are basically in every tropical area that you could think of. We've got India. We've got Central America, South America. We even got the south parts of the United States. Uh, there are carambola trees, star fruit trees that are making these fruits. And um, yeah, I found this at the grocery store for $2.99. Just one of these for $2.99. So these must taste amazing right well i hope so i've never had one in my entire life i've had bananas oranges apples kiwis blueberries uh, tomatoes that's a fruit but not a star fruit apparently this entire thing is edible as well and a lot of people say that it's juicy it's a very very juicy fruit uh, when you see these hanging on the trees they are a green color and you don't want to eat these when they're green. You want them to look like this, kind of a yellowish, golden brown kind of thing. Um, there are some health risks, surprisingly. I had to do some research here. So we're going to go to Wikipedia right quick. So carambolas, maybe that's how I say it, carambolas contain caramboxin and oxalic acid. Both substances are harmful to individuals suffering from kidney failure, kidney stones, or those under kidney dialysis treatment. Consumption by those with kidney failure can produce hiccups, vomiting, nausea, mental confusion, and sometimes death. Caramboxin is a neurotoxin which is structurally similar to phenylalanine and is a glutamateric agonist. Alright, alright, we're getting a little too scientist lab coat with all this stuff. Calm it down, Wikipedia. I first found out about this fruit from playing a video game called Stardew Valley. It's like a farming simulator where you could just grow crops and sell your crops and everything else. Uh, and in that game, yes, you can uh, raise and harvest uh, star fruit. You can make a lot of money uh, selling star fruit in that game too. I'm gonna give you all the senses of this thing. So, smell-wise, it kind of smells like a uh, sour, kind of tarty uh, fruit. It's very like waxy, just like a very hard waxy. It's it's not soft as I try to squeeze here. It's it's somewhat hard. It's a little less dense than an apple when I squeeze the little wings here. But yeah, it kind of feels like a bell pepper, green, red, whatever. From the side of it, when you cut the cross section, you're going to see a star. It's going to resemble a star, which is very cool. Now, what does it sound like? Well, yeah. Now we're finally going to cut this thing and try it. I'm ready. I'm so ready to eat this thing. Ah, oh, look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> Star fruit, ladies and gentlemen. This is bringing back some nostalgic smells. Something I forgot about a long time ago. Like, it's a mixture of, like, a fresh action figure, that plastic, that very potent plastic fresh action figure. Oh, my God. It, yeah, it smells like walking into an auto zone. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is. God, it smells like an auto zone. Yes, like that's nostalgic for me because a lot of my childhood was spent going into auto parts stores because my dad was a big car guy. And yeah, that's what it is mixed with a very sour kind of fruit smell. Wow. All right, so I'm going to cut a nice little chunk of this here. Okay, so as you see right here, star fruits do have seeds, and yeah, they, they kind of just look like uh, pineapples in the shape of stars, but I'm sure it's not going to taste like pineapples. All right, everybody, here we go. We are trying star fruit, the exotic fruit.
Okay, it's very sour, very watery. Mm. So it's got a uh, textured somewhat of an apple, but it's much lighter, like more airier than an apple. It's not as dense, but it has that same kind of crunchy apple texture. Hmm. I'm going to get another piece here. Hmm. Okay, so like I said, it has a very airy, somewhat texture of an apple, not as dense as an apple. But when you bite into this, it is very juicy. Now, the juice isn't like just spurting everywhere when you bite into it. But as a full thing, when you just chew it, you're like, yeah, there is a lot of water in this. And it's not so sweet. It's not sour to the point where you're like, oh my god, this is crazy. But it's, it just has a very tart taste to it for what it is it's 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 okay um for an exotic fruit just to try it it's cool but for 2.99 i i feel like i should get at least three of these for 2.99 a dollar a piece that's decent this is kind of overpriced if i were to say so myself i mean obviously i just think it's cool because it's in the shape of a star i mean that's all um i also think bananas are cool because of the shape they are too but that's a different story. <laughs> so for those of you who haven't tried a star fruit yet, and I'm, I'm just going to describe it to you the best way I can, um, biting into this, it's a somewhat tarty, a little bit sour, crunchy, but easy to bite into fruit. It's not as dense as an apple. Um, there are seeds, so you got to spit those out and catch them. And the whole fruit is edible, but uh, I, I probably wouldn't eat this little piece right there just because that's how I'd roll. But um, it's it's mid. I would say the fruit as a whole is a mid. And like I said, the whole appeal of it is that it's just in the shape of a star when you cut it in a cross section like that. But besides that, it's just, eh. hey, yeah, I want to try some exotic fruit. Um, it'd probably be amazing in a smoothie or just like a juice mixed with some other stuff. But yeah, eating it raw, it's decent. It's not bad for a fruit. On the tart scale, if you want to say a lemon is a 10, which it's not that tart, but let's just say a lemon is a 10, all right? This would be about a 6 out of 10 on the tart scale. So a little less tartier than a lemon. It's not sweet. It's just a very watered down tart taste. Now, the whole experience, though, is pretty cool. But overall, I will probably give the star fruit a 6.5 out of 10. I'm sure it's very healthy for you. Not for people with uh, kidney problems, but yeah, I'm sure it's, you know, got some kind of uh, nutritional value. But besides that, it's all for the novelty, the cool little appeal. Oh, this is something different than what the Midwest here has to offer, but... Yeah, I'd say just try it if you really are curious. But uh, to the average person, I would just, I probably wouldn't recommend it to the average person. Only someone that is highly curious and just needs to know. I got a star fruit. I need to try it. You know, if it's on your bucket list, yeah, go ahead, try it. It's not going to be anything horrible. And uh, yeah, that's that. So there you guys go. I give the star fruit a 6.5 out of 10. And that is it for this cheat day review. Thank you guys for watching. I am DJ Glowing Ice, always wanting to remind you that it is okay to cheat every once in a while. I'll see you next time.